It's easy to think that it's just the cows and the farmers who get a raw deal out of mega dairies. But I'm told that here in California, the farms are causing big problems for residents and threatened wildlife too. Louise Medlin lives in a community surrounded by mega dairies. The majority of people here, we buy our water. Uh, like I said, if I were to go into my house right now and uh, pour a glass of water from the tap, I'd sure enough be cloudy. Uh, I wouldn't drink it, it'd probably smell like chlorine. I've, you know, I've tried drinking it before and I know it's, it's contaminated and, and storing in these big pools. I mean, they don't have anything as a safety net under that, those water pools. Next time you're eating cheese, you know, that probably came from a mega dairy that's contaminating the water. Think about the children that are um, being affected, that their healths are being affected, um, how they're getting sick. Well, people need water. It's a basic human, uh, be human right. But it's not just people affected by mega dairies. Bill Jennings leads a campaign to get better protection for the San Joaquin River Delta in California. Generally speaking, with respect to waste lagoons, uh, if you see a lagoon, you know groundwater is polluting. Uh, most lagoons uh, leak. Uh, well, pollution from mega dairies, like like uh, 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 pollutant discharges from agricultural and uh, agriculture in general, uh, affect uh, a broad uh, suite of of, uh, of uh, critters in the aquatic uh, ecosystem. I mean, you know, from the more tropic levels, uh, the zooplankton, the phytoplankton, uh, the bottom levels of the food chain, uh, through um, uh, uh, through species, I mean, you know, the fish themselves, I mean, you know, either by, by uh, depriving them of oxygen or, or creating toxic conditions. The salmon species in these waters has declined by 95%. The migration runs where the salmon are coming upriver to spawn are much, much reduced and could be wiped out forever unless something is done. That, that, that we're subsidizing food production through the degradation of, of our, our rivers, our natural ecosystem, and, and that are owned in common by all people. Well, clearly, the, the, this estuary, this marvelous estuary, is, is, is paying a painful price for um, uh, cheap milk. The wonderful salmon is just one example of wildlife that is under pressure here. In this countryside that is so intensively farmed, that is under the march of the mega dairy. It's just one more example of why we need to go beyond factory farming.